Hey everyone, this is Darren Marcus, sales manager for Ascaya. I'm here with Danielle Rios, and uh, we just finished up with our first Facebook Live with Danielle. And uh, during the Facebook Live, we talked a little bit of the process, about the process of going through and designing the interiors for a home like this. And so what I wanted to do is, is take you through with Danielle to actually show you the finished product. Mm -hmm. And then along the way, she could talk a little bit about you know, what inspired her and, and why she chose these certain colors or, or finishes for the room. So, Daniel, I'll let you start. You know, we're here in, in what's actually known on the floor plans yes. as the guest suite. Um, but I actually like what you did here better than just a guest yes. suite where you turned it into a sitting room. And, sitting room. And so what was your vision behind that when you when you came into this room? Well, like again, the whole thing with this house, I, it was a joy to do. But the outside is really the focal point mm -hmm. to me. So I like bringing the indoor, or I'm sorry, the outdoor in. So I wanted to really keep it um, fresh with some muted colors, um, natural colors with lots of texture. I love mixing the old with the new. So I selected a sofa that had tufting, but then brought in the new with the transitional modern um, side lounge chairs. And um, we added some greenery and the finishes on the tables are kind of rough textured. Again, bringing, out, bringing the outside in. And I think it just looks lovely. All the pillows and what have you have texture. Now, let me ask you for somebody, if they wanted to convert this into a bedroom, mm -hmm. what would just some uh, initial thoughts as, as far as your vision be for this room? And what would you do from a furnishing standpoint? If it to, was a bedroom? If it was a bedroom. Okay, well, first of all, you have to position where the bed is. Yep. So it would be right here in the center of that wall. You'd have to have the smaller nightstands, but you could easily do like a queen size bed or what have you. Okay. And then um, you might have like a side chair along that wall in the middle. Okay. And maybe some artwork above. And, um, and is that so that the focal point still remains at your strip Still views remains outside? the strip views okay. and you could have like a, a little um, settee and have nice access, access to the fireplace and maybe some nice runners. Um, lighting is crucial in all bedrooms, so um, either drapery or roll downs or whatever the case might be are always the important thing. Okay. Well, let's take a walk through and I'm going to show you through some of the other areas here. As you can see, everything's very monochromatic and with little hits of blue um, for the artwork. And over here's the artwork um, that we wanted to really make a focal point. This is one of my favorite areas of the house because I absolutely love this console piece. <laughs> this is from Scala Luxury and um, it is like art furniture. So it really looks beautiful and has a nice juxtaposition with the stone wall in the background and then beautiful artwork and then you pick up hits of color and you bring them through the house. And one of the things, I, I, this is just me, I, I'm definitely a novice at design, so mm -hmm. um, was the blue inspired by the pool at all? Yes. Or? Okay. <laughs> yes, good. You picked it up. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, br again, bringing the outdoor in and the, the pool is so beautiful and, and the whole landscaping is such a focal point that that's what the main purpose was. Okay. And um, I also find it um, very important to point out that when you design a space that's very monochromatic, you want to make sure to have contrast in your woods, mm -hmm. in your chair legs, in your tables and what have you, because sometimes, not always, but sometimes it'll fall flat. So if you, you pick up the finish of the lighting and, and you know, the darker uh, wood on the wood slats on the ceiling, okay. and you incorporate that in the wood in the chairs and what have you, it, it grounds the space and it makes it come to life. So is that why you use the darker woods versus what we had on the, the cabinets? Yes. So there's that contrast and it doesn't blend together? Contrast and then again contrast with the white leather on the chairs. Another element of contrast. Okay. I really like too how you use the green in here. Yes. Um, really gives it that, that extra little pop and kind yes. of helps pull in the yes. landscaping from the outside and stuff as well. Yes. Um, and, and it just all it's a nice transition from inside and outside. I mean, it's beautiful. All the windows and doors are open and, and it's just, everything's cohesive and has good continuity. Yeah. So let's walk into your favorite room. Okay. I know you just mentioned the master bedroom is your favorite here. Yes. So we'll, we'll take a walk. Um, actually, we'll go down the hall here. Yes, because so this is some of my favorite too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can I just say uh, momentarily that this is the powder room and even though you're not seeing it, I'd like um, uh, people to really pay attention to your powder room because that is one area where you can uh, expand the, the parameters of design 
and it's it's a smaller venue so you can spend more money on an accent wall um, wall covering stone clad wall whatever the case might be and make it like a little piece of jewelry because it is the bathroom that everyone's going to see and it's funny you mention that because you would be amazed for being a powder the number of comments we get on that room yes. as we walk people yes. by it. So. Well, it's it's beautiful, guy. You can do fantastic pendants. Mm -hmm. You can do a really beautiful decorative ceiling fixture. Yeah. So it's it's an important room. Great. And I've always wanted a canopy bed, mm -hmm. and I love just the the grandeur of it and and how it's dark and really grounds the space and it's dramatic with the white. And, and the wood and what have you, and everybody has had such a positive feedback on, the, on this bedroom. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, as a real estate agent, the one thing I, I've noticed in homes in the past, even when they try staging them, mm -hmm. is that sometimes they'll go over the top with their own yes. ideas. Yes, and yes. And we find that sometimes that can, it takes away the client or the buyer's vision. Um, with this home, they can walk in and they can still see themselves living in this room. Yes. And it gives them just enough to inspire them. Yeah, and, and give and them an idea. Yeah. Give them an idea of what they're going to do. Um, I'm not one for a bunch of tchotchkes. Yeah. I just, I'm just not. But <laughs> I do. Simple, right? Yeah, I like to kind of keep it simple, and that's a big part of being modern. It's just not as um, cluttered. And then you could put personal pictures or what have you next to your um, nightstands and make it your own. And of course, artwork is always a big deal because everybody has their own idea of what is artistic to them and what's good. Yeah. So you can put artwork. We were supposed to have a TV here, but we didn't, but I would ideally also put a nice big piece of artwork there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's the one thing that uh, definitely is, I, I love with this room and even the artwork that you used mm -hmm. is it uh, still allows you to add your own vision to it as well. Exactly, so. and, and continuing with the theme of bringing the outdoor in, I did a lot of na uh, nature shots. Oh, okay. Now okay. I understand why I use those. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Danielle. Again, we appreciate thank your time. You. And uh, if you didn't get a chance to check out our Facebook Live, um, you can go back and watch it again on Facebook. And again, you can check out Danielle's website, which is www.drds.com. Dot net. Dot net. Sorry about that. <laughs> and um, that's it. So thank you again, Danielle. And appreciate thank your time. You. Thank you. Thank you.